story time. Five little monkeys walked along the shore. One went sailing, and then there were four. Four little monkeys climbed up a tree. One tumbled down, and then there were three. Three little monkeys found a pot of glue. One got stuck, and then there were two. Two little monkeys found a car of fun. One ran away, and then there was one. Five little monkeys walked along the shore. One went sailing. Then there were four. Hello, you can help me say that, right? Four little monkeys climbed up a tree. One, ooh, tumbled down, and then there were three. Three little monkeys found a pot of glue. One mm, got stuck, and then there were two. Two little monkeys found a currant bun. One ran away, and then there was one. One little monkey cried all afternoon. So they put him in an aeroplane and sent him. To the moon. I can see the moon in the pond. Look. Can you see it? The moon reflected in the water. The moon's not in the pond, though, is it? You can see the moon's reflection. There's a story about some monkeys who saw the moon reflected in the water. They lived in a beautiful garden in India. In the garden, there was a well with water in it. Now, when the monkeys saw the moon reflected in the water, they thought that the moon had fallen into the well. Once upon a time in India, there was a beautiful garden. In the garden lived a troop of monkeys. All day they were busy moving about in the trees. Sometimes they looked for juicy fruit. Sometimes they looked for crunchy nuts. Most of the time, they played games, like King of the Castle and Hide and Seek. At night, they slept, but one night. When the moon was shining so brightly, the monkeys couldn't sleep. They began to play in the bright moonlight. They made up a new game. It was called Chase My Tail. Suddenly, one of the monkeys stopped and looked down. He saw the moon. Shining in the smooth water of the well below. Look! He called to the others. The moon has fallen into the well. <laughs> Now the world has no moon. Why don't we try to pull it out? 
The monkeys all tried to think of a way to save the moon. Soon they had a good plan. The first monkey held onto the branch of a tree just above the well. The second monkey held the first monkey's tail. The third monkey held the tail of the second monkey. Then the fourth then the fifth, until they were all hanging on to one another. Then the fifth monkey dipped his paw into the water to pick up the moon. He searched in the water with his paw again and again. But he could not find the moon. Suddenly, the branch they were hanging from broke. They all fell into the well. What a screeching, splashing and spluttering there was. When they were all out again, they looked over the edge of the well into the water. There it is again! The youngest monkey shook the water out of his fur and said, Oh, stupid moon! The others said, Silly, 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 silly. Then the chief monkey, looking wise, said, Oh, well, come on, let's go back to our game. If the silly moon found its own way into the well, let it find its own way out. Yes, yes! After all, it's none of our business. Poor monkeys. They were a bit silly, weren't they? Oh, but they meant well. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Would you like to be a monkey? It might be fun to live in the trees. You could spend all day climbing and jumping and playing hide and seek. Mind you, a monkey's life isn't all fun and games. Five little monkeys playing in a tree, teasing Mr. Crocodile. Can't catch me! Four little monkeys playing in a tree, teasing Mr. Crocodile. Can't catch me! Three little monkeys playing in a tree, teasing Mr. Crocodile. Can't catch me! Two little monkeys playing in a tree, teasing Mr. Crocodile. Can't catch me! One little monkey playing in a tree, teasing Mr. Crocodile. Can't catch me! No little monkeys playing in a tree. I'd better watch out or he might get me. Hmm. You wouldn't want to make friends with a crocodile. Except, maybe, a baby crocodile, like Cornelius. Cornelius knew he had a lot to learn, so he found himself a good teacher who was happy to teach him some ooh, 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 monkey tricks. When the eggs hatched, the little crocodiles crawled out onto the river beach. Uh, 
But Cornelius walked out upright. As he grew taller and stronger, he hardly ever came down on all fours. He saw things no other crocodiles had ever seen before. I can see far beyond the bushes, he said. But the others said, what's so good about that? I can see the fish from above, Cornelius said. So what, said the others. And so one day, Cornelius decided to walk away. It was not long before he met a monkey. I can walk upright, Cornelius said proudly. And I can see things far away. I can stand on my head, said the monkey. And hang from my tail. Cornelius was amazed. Could I learn to do that, he asked. Of course, replied the monkey. All you need is a lot of hard work and a little help. Cornelius worked hard at learning the monkey's tricks. And the monkey seemed happy to help him. When he had learned to hang from his tail, Cornelius walked proudly back to the river beach. Look, he said, I can stand on my head. So what, was all the others said. And I can hang from my tail, said Cornelius. But the others just frowned and said, so what? Disappointed, Cornelius decided to go back to the monkey. But just as he looked back, what did he see? There the others were, falling all over themselves, trying to stand on their heads and hang from their tails. Life on the river beach would never be the same again, Cornelius smiled. Do you know, I think our Mr. Crocodile wants to learn how to stand on his head and hang from his tail. Do you think your monkeys might teach him a trick or two? Can't catch me, can't catch me. <laughs> Goodbye. One got stuck, and then there were two. 